What do I want to say? You know, I I don't know, take it as a weakness on my part. But when I see wrong things, my blood boils. My blood boils. I just don't like it. I just I just don't like it. I just don't like it. And um I mean, much as many of you think that I'm just a useless Mushani Nabuadi, you know, no, I have very strong principles, very, very strong principles. And those strong principles that I have is to fight for justice, is to fight for justice and not to side with wrong things. These are my strong principles. Yes, in politics, there, are no morali- there, 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 there is no morality, but... Call me a bad politician. And I know I agree with you, with some of you who think that I'm not a good politician because sometimes, you know, because the politics that is in this country, when you support Ed Galungu, everything about Ed Galungu must be right. When you support HH, everything about HH is right. But that is not uh, my character. That is not how I am made. For me, Yes, there are many positive things about President Ed Galungu, but he's not perfect. There are things that he does which are wrong. Yes, there are many good things about uh, Haka Inde Hichilema, but yes, there are also wrong things that are, uh, that, that are about him. He's not perfect. And I know, uh, me criticizing President Ed Galungu, I know some of you, you are thinking, it's, you are feeling like I don't know. I'm touching God. The same way that the UPND, when I touch Haka in the HLM, it's like I don't know. But no, come on, these are human beings. These are human beings prone to error. And we must say things as they are. And I, I, am, I want to put it on record that I'm very disappointed with President Ed Galungu. I am very disappointed with President Ed Galungu. Why I'm very disappointed? Because to me, from the statement that he made yesterday and the action of the police today, it somehow confirms that President Ed Galungu has been supporting Kalimanshi. Before, Kalimanshi was linked to State House. And somehow I felt, no, I mean, President Ed Galungu, yes, there could be, you know, some people around the State House who could be, uh, you know, supporting Kalimanshi for their own uh, agendas. But it appears... President Ed Galungu, he is actually the supporter and funder of Kalimanshi. He is the supporter and financer of Kalimanshi. And he, to say the least, that is hypocritical for a president who has been talking against violence. It's hypocritical. Because when you look at Kalimanshi, Kalimanshi is a personification of violence, of hooliganism, of anarchy in this country. And it is sad that he, such a person is being associated with the president. It is very, very sad. It is very, very sad. It's unacceptable. And look, there are, there are pointers. This is what, like the same way that I've been saying some of these things that, uh, you know, the fingerprints. You know, like when you talk about uh, uh, the Felunas, I say there they are fingerprints all over of Haka in the HLM. When I talk about uh, Karimanshi, there are fingerprints of Ed Galungu all over. And here are the pointers. Karimanshi, when Karimanshi uh, uh, was in UPND, when he went with GBM to UPND, he had cases in court. When Karimanshi came back and he jumped bail, he jumped bail because he was on bail and he jumped the bail. When he came back, those cases, they never touched them. They never touched them. If Karimanshi had come back when he was still in UPND, those cases, the old cases, would have surfaced up. They would have picked them up to arrest Karimanshi. Karimanshi was in, was in exile. Was in exile. He ran away from the cases that were going on in court. When he came back, they just ignored those cases. But if Karimanshi had come as a UPND, Karimanshi would have been arrested. Why wasn't Karimanshi arrested for cases that he was appearing in court and jumped to bail? 
Because when you jump bail, even a bench warrant was issued. Even a bench warrant was issued. But he came back and nothing happened. Nothing happened. Apart from that, Karimansh has continued to, uh, to conduct himself in a very uh, anarchical way. Very anarchical way. Karimanshi has taken a procession, procession cars with a group of people going into the streets, wearing, you know, military attire in the streets. And he has driven around the streets of Lusaka. Even in Cairo Road, he has driven where even myself, I was there standing, Ninji Mininapalapa Barclays, watching him in a procession with a lot of people. Where were the police? Where were the police? Let us be, let us be honest here. Let us be honest. Let us be realistic here. Can another political party do what Karimanshi does? Can another political party do that? Can any other individual, can even myself, can I do that? I can't do that. How come Karimansha has been able to conduct processions in this country, on the streets, the busiest streets of our country, busiest streets of our capital city? How come? And the police don't touch him. How come? Military attire that he, Karimanshi wears, I mean, it has been... Uh, it has been prohibited. It is against the law. And the same people in PF, they have been talking about that, against that. But Karimanshi does it. Why? Karimanshi has gone out to insult leaders. Eh? Leaders, women, senior, senior government officials. Karimanshi has insulted them. Who gives him that audacity? Where does he get the audacity? Where does he get the authority? If not from the president. Because he has even insulted that secretary general. But Davis Muriel, he has insulted him. He has insulted him. Where does he get the powers? These are the fingerprints I'm talking about. That These fingerprints, they point to President Ed Galung. Because there is no way... Uh, somebody would have the guts to insult ministers, to even insult the, the, the home affairs minister. Yeah? A man that is feared by most of us. But Karimansha had the audacity to insult him. Even at the court premises, he is coming out of the court, he's busy insulting uh, the home affairs minister. Where does he get the guts? Where does he get the guts? Eh? Yeah? His conduct, it's totally, total anarchy. It's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. In a democratic country, in a peaceful country like ours. Munjeweko, who gives Karimanshi those powers? And when Karimanshi goes to, when the police arrest Karimanshi, they take him to court. Karimanshi is always defended. Who pays the lawyers that he, who defends Karimanshi? Me, I don't have money to pay lawyers, but Karimansh has lawyers. Each time he goes to court, he has lawyers. Who pays for those lawyers if not President Ed Galungu? Who pays for those lawyers? This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. And surely, I mean, for me, I, I'm telling you, I struggle with my heart when I see these kind of things. I'm like, really, why should it be like this? Why should it be like this? And in as much as I want President Ed Galungu to win, surely. Should I be accepting these kind of things? No. How? I will die for my objectivity. And you don't say Ndalanda that by the fact that somebody gives me a piece of bread, it doesn't mean that I will start worshipping that person. I will never worship anyone. I will say things as they are. If you are wrong, I will speak it out. I will say it. And in this case, President Ed Galungu, this is very wrong. This is very wrong. It is unacceptable. You are the head of state. You are a Republican president. You cannot be funding people like Karimanshi. You can't be. You can't be. It's very wrong. It's very, very wrong. Nakana san. Nakana. Because... That is dangerous. That is fueling anarchy in a country. 
that is fueling chaos in a country. Why are you keeping the Karimanshi in a militia form? Today I was attending a meeting where they were talking about, you know, conflict resolutions and sorting out resolutions during the time of elections and so on and so forth. And some people were mentioning Karimanshi, were mentioning a militia. Those are the examples that you'll be talking about. Those are the examples of militias. Of course, I, I wouldn't classify Karimansha as a militia. It is just a bunch of hooligans. Those are just a bunch of hooligans. That's all. That's all. You can't say they are politics. They are politicians. Those are not politicians. Those are anarchists. Those are anarchists. You can't say those are politicians. What politics does Karimansha do? Intimidating people? Inconveniencing people on the streets? Insulting people? And you say that is politics? That's not politics. That's not politics. And it is a shame that is being uh, this this person is being associated to state house. And I'm pointing out why I'm putting this on state house. Because this person has insulted government leaders. He has insulted them. He has conducted processions in the broad daylight, and the police don't touch him. He has got money. You know, to organize all those people, you need resources. Some of us, we know what it takes to gather people. It takes, it takes money. Karimanshi, those people who follow him, they don't follow him because Ali Suba Jaribu. Uh-uh. That's why they follow him. No, they don't follow him for that. They follow him because he has got resources to give them. To fund those people that he calls I'm a soldier, I'm a soldier. It's resources. No rebel can run a military or a platoon without resources. You can only run that when you have resources. You can only, you know, pay people. And they can follow you like that when you have money. Where does Karimanshi get the money? Where does Karimanshi get the money? Because he has more money now than he had when he was in, in UPND. In UPND, why? Since he came back, Karimanshi has been all flashy, all flashy, posing, you know, very expensively. Whereby some of some of some of you cannot even afford to feed, you know, impanya, you can't feed, you know, impanya, green pigs, you can't feed them. But Karimanshi is able to feed even a dog. Where does he get the money? Where does he get the money? And to sign it off, to confirm it, to confirm it completely that this is part of President Ed Galungu, Kalimanshi drives into the into the into the uh, uh, PF Secretariat at full speed. Where did he get the audacity to do that? To go into the PF Secretariat? When they had gathered like that, where he knows that he has been insulting Kamba, an elected uh, provincial chairman, where he has insulted the provincial, the, the secretary general, and all the PF structures, and he has the guts to drive in there with his Range Rover. Where did he get those guts? Where did he get those guts? He's beaten. After he's beaten by his fellows, because, I mean, he propagates, he propagates violence. And you know, what you propagate follows you. Violence begets violence. Kalimanshi begets violence. And of course, what follows him is violence. When he entered into the secretariat, nothing else could follow. It's violence. Because he's the one that has been propagating that violence. He's beaten. His vehicle hammered. Because that is the character of Karimanshi. That is the language of Karimanshi. And what do we see? The entire Republican president, the entire Republican president pronounces himself on Karimanshi. And he threatens the inspector general of police. You can't say that that statement was directed to, you know, because some, some journalists were attacked. No, no. That statement by President Ed Galungu was, it is because he was upset that 
he, one of his own was beaten at the secretariat. That's why he said that. That's why he said that. And to confirm it, to sign it off, those people within hours of President Edgar Lungu issuing those instructions, they are arrested. Those people, as I think as I'm talking, they are in the cells. They were arrested early in the morning. Yes, Edgar Lungu said this yesterday. Early in the morning, they were arrested. So, I mean, what more? Let us not pretend. I'm telling you. But this in Africa, when it is wrong, it is wrong. I will not be part of it. I will not support wrong things. Inete ine kambuiri. Inete ine kambuiri. Ah ah. Ine tuwa pusana na kambuiri. Tuwa pusana sana. Ine I say things with conviction. And I will not go back on what I've said. Because I think through things. I've been thinking through about this thing. That's why I'm even talking this time. Because during the day I was just thinking about this. I was just thinking about this. Hmm? You issue statement, a statement, and they quickly arrest those people. Now, here is the bias. Here is the bias that goes in, that, uh, that, uh, that, 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 that goes with that. There are those UPND cadres. There are those people who bent UPND uh, regalia. They bent UPND regalia. They destroyed the, 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 the place of uh, you know, that poor person. That person who was making that, that regalia, they destroyed things there. Did we hear the president pronounce himself? He didn't say anything. He didn't say anything. Up to today, the police are saying they are investigating. Will they ever find them? They will never find them. They will never find them. But on Kalimanshi, president issues a statement. Within hours, those people are arrested. Is that fair? Is that justice? Is that justice? You can hurt me all you want, but is that justice? It's not justice. It's not justice. And for me, I refuse. I will support you when you do what is right. When you do something wrong, I'll ach much rather that jealous. Jealous finish. Jealous finish. It's not about jealous. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's just wrong. Jealous nila lona tampo kumona. Well, or how how UPF will uh, change your lives? Eh? I was there when PF was getting into power, and I've seen how your lives has changed. Most of you, I've seen you. I I knew you before PF was in power, and I've seen how your life has changed. Have I have I been jealous? It's not about jealousy. It's not about jealous. I see how you enjoy life while some of us are still suffering. It's okay. It's okay. It's not an issue. It's not an issue. So it's not about jealousy. Uh -uh. There are so many people who are benefiting, who are living a good life. I don't. I don't speak up against them. Boma Nusambo is living a very good life. I don't speak against him. He hasn't done anything wrong. Why should I speak against him? Eh? His life has changed. He's enjoying himself. I've never said anything. I see a lot of you. I see a lot of you who have changed your life, who are living better. I see a lot of you. So it's not about jealous. It's about wrong things. It's about wrong things. It's not jealous. I mean, look, that person, Karimanshi, I mean, who really would appreciate Karimanshi? What politics is there on Karimanshi? What politics is there? Apart from anarchy, violence, abuse. Me, I don't accept that. Eh? If we are if we are condemning PF uh, UPND when they con if we are condemning Muvita now, eh? Here we are we are busy condemning Muvita, Muvita now arrest Muvita now arrest Muvita now. But we are protecting Karimanji who insults, bro day in day out he's insulting Muvita now and Mulenga they insult once they, they record themselves and we are all saying arrest him arrest him arrest him. But Karimanji is every day insulting. And you want to say no? That is the that is justice. Nafka naim. I refuse. I I refuse. Excuse me. I refuse. And this I refuse. Even my God is supporting me to say what you are saying is true. I have thought through this. 
I even prayed to say, my God, what's happening? Because really, to be honest with you, at this point in time, the last people that I would want to mess around with, it's my PF, because I'm trying to negotiate to find my way to say, how can we work together? How can we survive together? I'm being very honest with you. I've said it. I've said it, that I want President Ed Ganunga, and I've said it, that, you know, I'm trying to negotiate to see what is it that I can do with the PF. So, surely, frankly speaking, if it is just to say, you know, looking at my, my own interest, I, I don't think I would be saying anything against President Ed Galungu. But then, what kind of a person will I be? What kind of a Christian will I be? If just because I want something from PF, I start looking away, accepting wrong things, I don't think I'll be a good person. And if you don't know, this is Chirupatayari. This is, this is me. This is me. You can ask the people in Catholic Church, eh, my formators, they'll tell you why I was kicked out. It is because I just stand for justice. I've lost out opportunities because I would rather, you know, live with my conscience, suffering than, you know, no, 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 no. that's not me. That's not me. If I support a person, it is because I'm convinced that this person is doing the right thing. But when somebody is doing something wrong, I will just say it. President Ed Garungu, I can tell you, up to today as I'm talking, I mean, I so much, you know, look up to uh, his support. That's the truth. That's the truth. I make money here and there, but it is through Ed Garungu. It's the truth. I make money in different to my little little business that I do, but it is through President Ed Galung. But I refuse to, to look away when President Ed Galung is doing something wrong. Supporting Kalimanshi is wrong. Kalimanshi does not symbolize peace. Kalimanshi does not symbolize a good citizen. Kalimanshi does not symbolize a democratic, uh, uh, you know, a political dispensation. He doesn't. He doesn't. But President Ed Galungu is supporting him. And he confirmed it by issuing that statement, threatening the police. And after threatening the police, the police also swing into action. When we have so many political violence that has occurred in this country and no one has been arrested, when we have so many people that have been insulted by Karimanshi and Karimanshi gets away with it, even the other day, we were talking about that person who was, uh, who was jailed eh? Eh? at Fred Mania. Jailed three years. Three years for insulting President Ed Galung. And yet Karimansha has been insulting day in, day now, day out. Day in, day out he has been insulting. But we have an innocent citizen who called in, frustrated, called in on Millennium Radio. He's serving three, three years sentence. Three years sentence. Karimansha is busy insulting every day. Insulting and not insulting the useless people. He insults even ministers. Even the Secretary General has been insulted. No, Bane. No. These are real. These are facts. These are facts. These are facts. You can run away from shan, 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 but these are facts. Who buys, who sponsored Karimanshi? That Range Rover Karimanshi drove in there. That Range Rover Karimanshi drove in there and it was uh, hammered. Eh? It was hammered. Who, who bought Karimanshi that vehicle? Eh? Who bought Karimanshi that vehicle? Who bought Karimanshi that vehicle? Eh? Oh, man. Tefo Chifirokuba. Tefo Chifirokuba. Tefo Chifirokuba. It's very wrong. We cannot be financing. We cannot be, you know, supporting anarchy and yet we claim to be a christian nation yet we claim to be a you know a country that upholds a national values eh? and christianity when we are supporting a person that is insulting day and night eh? no 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 i don't care i don't care lesa one day will look after me if you want you can hate me my God will look after me. That is very wrong. 
There are so many crimes that have not been sorted out, political crimes that have not been, been sorted out. But today, because Karimanshi is protected by the president, those people have been arrested. Those people have been arrested. But Karimanshi, the people, the victims of Karimanshi, they have got no recourse. Because they beat Karimanshi, the president pronounced himself, the police arrest him. Whilst the victims of Karimanshi, they have got no recourse. And you want me to say, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, by Edgar Lungu. No, 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 no. He says, Zambia is a Christian nation. Ah, we, inakana, inakana. Leke nile saka empa, nika kopali fimbi, efo mfirwa, ukuchita overcome. I've got my sins where I fail to overcome them. Let God punish me on those things. But at least on some of these things, let me, let my God say, no, 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 there you, you, you were objective. You, you spoke for justice. I'm talking about, for, I'm talking for justice. I know some, there was an agenda which was set. Some people were peddling lies. No, some people want to contest against Ed Galungu, blah, 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 blah. And I know even some people might interpret this to say, no, 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 I'm speaking on behalf of those who wanted to challenge Ed Galungu. I speak the truth. If I didn't want Ed Galungu, I would say it straight. If I supported any other person, I would say it straight. But the people that you were pointing at, for which you recruited Karimanshi, they have not really been, you know, wanting to fight Edgar Lungu. And, and the, the convention went smoothly, not because Karimanshi was there. Karimanshi never threatened anyone. Not even KBF. KBF was not threatened by Karimanshi. No. No. So, all that agenda, I don't know where that agenda, what it adds to. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's just not right. It is not right. The other point that I wanted to make. I am one of those people who criticizes the police. I'm one of those people who criticizes Wakanganji. But look. Let us condemn a person when they have really done something wrong. Let us not, let us not accuse people falsely. That is a sin. In a, when I talk about Makanganja, I am very specific. The violence that happened at the secretariat, you cannot blame it on the police. As much as I have issues with the police, as much as I have issues with Makanganja, it is wrong to go and threaten Makanganja because of that violence of an internal political party. It is wrong. Nakan, I don't agree with Wahed Garungu. I don't agree. It was wrong for him to threaten Makanganja on an internal conflict. It was wrong. Because... I'm giving you my reasons why I don't agree with him. I don't agree with him because, to start with, the police talk about the Public Order Act. Me, I fully subscribe to the Public Order Act. Even when we meet among political parties, me, I subscribe to the Public Order Act. Because we need that for order. We need that to stop hooligans like, that, like Vena, Vena Karimanshi. We need that. There is a reason why we have the Public Order Act. But the PF, they are comfortable to talk about the Public Order Act in as far as it concerns other political parties to gather. When it comes to themselves, they don't consider the Public Order Act. They don't. They gather willy-nilly. As and when they want to gather, they will gather. Others, when they want to gather, they gather. But when other people gather... They have issues. They need a public order. They need a permit from the police. But for them, when they are meeting, they don't need a permit. Now, what you had there, you had a test of your own medicine. Because that's what the police talk about. The police say, tell us when you are meeting so that we can protect you. But the PF, I know for sure, they didn't get a permit for them to conduct that uh, that, that gathering, they didn't have a permit. Now, if they didn't have a permit, why are you blaming the police? You never informed the police. The police didn't know. So why 
is you over President Edgar Rungu. Why are you blaming the police when you did not inform them? Did you inform them that you're going to have that gathering? You didn't. These are reasons that you give when other people are meeting. These are the reasons you give them. To say, we, we want to give you a permit so that we can protect you. Otherwise, don't blame us. That's what the police say. And for me, I find that reasonable and I accept. I accept. But you didn't inform the police. And then when you fight, because that was an internal fight, you put it on the Wakakanganja to say, that was your last test. No. Let us see accused Wakakanganja on things that he has failed. Let us see accused Wakakanganja on things that he has failed. Because let's face it, let's be realistic. There is nothing that the police would have done at that function. Nothing. And moreover, you talk about your own security. But PF Mwadikwa Tawa security, Uri Apanevo security, Uri Apanevo security. All cadres are part of the security. So you had your own security. You had your own security. And most of the time, these political parties, Mweba Temukwanda, no, 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 we have security, we have security. This is, you should learn from what happened there. Because your own security can start fighting. Shirashin any babe, any babe, they start fighting. When they start fighting, you say, no, the police come, didn't come to defend us. Why do you have your internal security if you need the police to protect you? If you need the police to protect you, go and ask for a permit so that the police can be there to police everything. But you don't. You don't ask for a permit. You don't ask for a permit. Because you are a ruling party, because you have your own security. After number, Bauma Karimanshi, because Karimanshi is the son of the president, the president gets upset. Start threatening the IG. That is abuse of our president. That is abuse. That is abuse. There is no two way about it. That is abuse. You are abusing your powers. You are abusing your powers. And you are fueling tension. You are sowing a seed of anarchy. You are you are, seed, you, are, you, are, you are sowing a bad seed, especially at this point in time when we are going towards the elections. It's very, very bad. It's very, very bad. No. In an Akana. Nakana. Once I know Shan 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 Yamulet Tamba was a PF, whatever, whatever, to finish your shoe for you, whatever, whatever. Then Salam India no Kudia. A beaten na Coca Cola in Inquata, but I am not accepting this 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 kind of behavior it is wrong it is wrong i will not sit back and watch anarchy you know going in my country i'm a patriot i love this country i love this country and i, I can die for this country i can die for this country but otherwise, uh, no, 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 I will not accept this. I will not accept that. So, if you are talking about public order act, you should lead by example. When you appear for your gathering, go and apply for a permit. Let the police give you the permit and let them protect you. That way, at least, when something happens, we can blame them. Not when you have not informed them. You start fighting. You go and threaten the, the IG. It's, not, it's, just not, it's just not right. It's not right. So in the same vein, the president was in the last test. He was in the last test. He was in the last test. He those people who were making that regardia, it's not so much about the UPND. I'm not interested about the UPND. I'm interested about those people who were earning a living by making that regardia. Those regardia. I, those are the people that I'm concerned about. They destroyed their property. That is a loss. There is no compensation. And yet I'm told, at no, those who lost property and whatever, whatever, at the secretariat, they will be compensated. I don't think you are talking about journalists. I don't think you're talking about journalists. The compensation you're talking about is basically buying Karimanshi 
back the vehicle. I think that's what you're talking, that's what you're talking about. Because if you're talking about journalists, how many times have journalists been beaten? Have we ever heard that no journalists will be, will be compensated? No more journalists. Somebody was telling me, no, no, no. The president was, uh-uh. No. It is a Karimanshi that President Edgar Lungu is protecting. Even that composition you are talking about, it is Karimanshi you want to, 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 to compensate. Because you are the one who bought the vehicle and you have seen the vehicle destroyed. So you want to replace it. You want to replace it. That composition is for Karimanshi. The arrest is for Karimanshi. It's not for journalists. Because journalists have been beaten several times. I've never heard the head of state pronouncing himself to say, journalist, what, 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 and talk about composition, nothing. But because it was Karimanshi who was beaten, the president comes out and you're even talking about composition. Composite also, those, those people who are making those, uh, that regalia, you know, composite them. They lost. And those are citizens. You are empowering people and yet others are being a... Uh, are being disadvantaged in that manner. Eh? It's not, it's just not right. So in the morning, I, I said, let me just say it. Chief Mekumukosh. Ampata Ampate. Kutimu Ampata, it's okay. You can close your doors, it's okay. My God will look after me. Na chulo kona fume na le chula. Na fiali re mkompaundi. Na fiali uwe mchitenge, mchitenge, chapwa, but na alikulo kuisa afika lilo. So, tapali umuntu uinge saa, yunfoko watu, yo pantu, tayari nda mpela kwa five pin, and he, he has to tow my line, uh -uh. and that's not my character, that's not my character. For me, you have to do the right thing. We have to do the right thing. If you do something wrong, accept, uh, expect me to criticize you. That is just how I am. Of course, many times I, I, I bite my lips. Sometimes in the Firokulanda. Sometimes in the Firokulanda. But anyway, this one, I had to say it because it's very dangerous. It's very bad. Karimanshi is a big problem in this country. And we cannot allow... We cannot allow one person to hold this country at ransom. Whereby na, na won't save a PF Valentina, a SG Valentina, I'm a minister's Valentina, because of the president. And they can't tell you. I, I am very sure. Even our PF Ninji Shiva, na and they are not happy. But they can't tell you. In Ena Landa, because that is a duty that an opposition leader is supposed to to you know to play so i've said it and i'm saying it not out of whatever whatever frustration i'm just saying it because it is wrong i won't talk about other things i think i'll leave it here but president ed galungo please don't be a hypocrite don't be a hypocrite condemn violence and make sure that you don't sponsor violence yourself. Don't sponsor violent people. What Karimanshi does is very wrong. Please stop it. Good night.